Today, my guest is the co-founder of Real Movement and economic expert Natik Jafarov. Welcome to our studio. Thank you. Azerbaijan is the winner of Eurovision 2011 Song Contest. 2012 contest will be held in Azerbaijan. Is Azerbaijan ready to host Eurovision 2011-2012 in terms of budget, transport, roads, design of the city, legislation, and so on? First, I congratulate the winners, our people, with this victory. As for Azerbaijan's preparedness, in terms of finance, there is no problem. You know, Azerbaijan's economy is dependent on oil and Due to the increased amount of oil production and rise of price, there is no finance problem. The problem is quality use, effective use of these funds. For this, probably a committee will be founded to deal with arrangement of Eurovision. It's the technical side of the issue. Besides, there are fundamental issues that cannot be regulated within a single year. That is the inf infrastructure of Baku. At least the repair of the central streets should be finished. Second issue is the hotels. Is Baku ready to host such a great amount of guests? It is not ready. There are 89 hotels in Baku. Half of them have been provided with stars and compliance certificate by the Ministry of Tourism. Only 16.5% of these are suites and about 41% are first-class rooms. So the hotel's capacity to receive guests amounts to 2,000 to 2,500 guests. But it is reported that Baku can host over 10,000 guests. However, construction of new hotels are going on. I told that the number of guests that can be hosted in suites and first-class rooms amount to 2,500. However, as for other types of rooms, they don't meet European standards. Besides, in central Baku, construction of Four Seasons and Hilton hotels are going on. It can increase the capacity as well if finished in a year. How much money did Germany spend on arrangement of the contest? How much did it benefit from the contest? According to the report of Dusseldorf Mayor's office, 47 million euros was spent for the arrangement of the contest. The income of the city for a week amounted to 147 million euros. How much money could Azerbaijan allocate for contest? At what places could the contest be held? One of the best places for the contest might be the hand games sport complex, in, but its capacity is only 14,000 people. It's alleged that the Republican Stadium could be reconstructed as well. It contains 40,000 people. It is alleged that Hydra Aliyev Center in Hydra Aliyev Avenue is also an option. Its construction is ongoing, and time is terribly limited, just a single year. As for the finance, Azerbaijan has no problem in this regard. I suppose Azerbaijan will allocate money for the more money for the contest than the Seldorf did it by twice. On the other hand, is the airport ready for such great amount of guests? Because part of the airport is reconstructed. The total number of the teams of 43 countries, the journalists, the VIP guests, amounted to 2,500 in Dusseldorf. They visit usually, usually visit the country five to six days ahead of the contest. Charter flights could be arranged for them. Besides, the number of tourists visiting Germany amounted to 70,000. Maybe the number will decrease in Azerbaijan. Even if half of them visit Azerbaijan, 35,000 is still a great number. There is an interesting research comparing Moscow Olympic Games to Seoul Olympic Games. Moscow Olympic Games caused the authoritarian regime in Russia to fall. According to official reports, 1 billion USD and according to unofficial reports, 3 billion of United States dollars were spent 
for the games. They couldn't recover even half of the money as income. But the still Olympic Games increased the ratings of the Korean companies. The country's image became more positive. How could it influence the Azerbaijan's economy, democracy? Within this one year, Azerbaijan will be on the focus of attention of Europe. It gives a chance to the authorities to launch reforms. There shouldn't be a journalist in prison in a country winning a European contest. Freedom of assembly expression cannot be restricted in a country that won a European contest. I hope the Azerbaijan government will take the relevant steps to improve Azerbaijan's image. What about the information technologies? There are some restrictions because... And the safety. Will it be ensured? One of the first steps that Azerbaijan should take is to settle the visa problem in checkpoints because there will be an inflow of journalists who will arrive with their, with their equipments. Maybe dozens of channels will provide live broadcasting through satellite. If there are problems in this regard, it couldn't be in favor of Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan could be criticized. Of course, if problems continue, if Azerbaijan frequently appears on international scene for the pure, pure human rights record, freedom of expression, pressures on journalists, there could be a probability to relocate their contest. What about internet channels? The speed of internet. President Hamid Alev has told OSCE special envoy for media that internet, internet freedom will be ensured and it will develop. What about the quality of internet in Azerbaijan? Within the past one year, there has been progress in this sphere. But internet is in monopoly of Delta Telecom Company, which can block any website in Azerbaijan. Besides, the price decreased trend announced by the Ministry of Communication and Information Technologies has stopped. It has nothing to do with economic situation. Just if prices are decreased more and more people will have access to internet. Thank you for coming to our studio. Today my guest was one of the co-founders of Real Movement and economic expert Natik Jafarov.